Hi and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle and today we got another escape room in the box. This summer is seriously the, the summer of, I don't know, escape room in the box campaigns. Yeah, so this is I think already the third escape room in the box I'm gonna review. That is part of a Kickstarter campaign which just went live today. And as usual, if you are interested in what you see in this review in the puzzle itself, check out the campaign. I put your link up here or in the video description. So as usual, I appreciate if you would use my link if you're interested in buying this puzzle. So another escape room in the box, but this one again is from design point of view, another interesting one, definitely interesting one. It was made and designed by Inscape Box and it's called Caesar's Riches. Escape in the box means on the campaign you find of course some more details of it and also the size of the compartment inside. It seems to be very difficult because you can see here 4.5 out of maximum 5, 150 to 210 minutes solving time. So what I really like is the boxing because it's quite a high quality box with a magnet here inside that keeps it closed. Also inside, I mean that they actually can happen nothing to the puzzle because it's quite well protected here from getting damaged. So when I take this thing out, this is what it looks like. Okay, so as I said, quite an interesting design concept. It's made out of laser cut wood, four different sides, a lot of code stuff. Yeah, so not sure how many of these puzzles are mechanical puzzles or really like deciphering puzzles. You got a combination lock down here with a map in the background. Some stuff here. There are always these lines here. I'm not sure what they are about. These patterns. This might be the compartment here. And here in the front, this is, I think, the most interesting looking side of the puzzle. Seems to be also part of the puzzle to unlock it. Okay, so this is how it looks. And yeah, that's it pretty much for the introduction. And after spoiler break, you're gonna see my first attempt trying to solve this escape room in a box and find Caesar's riches. Okay, here we go. So 210, up to 210 minutes solving time. Um, this is quite a lot. Here's the start marking, which is a good thing, I think, because usually it's sometimes hard to find on these puzzles where to start. And I think I know this type of puzzle up here. Okay, I fiddled for it for like, I don't know, 10 minutes, got nowhere, and but I was able to bring it back into the initial condition in a different configuration. So the logo down here is not visible anymore, but I think it doesn't matter in regards to the solving process. So I will just give it another try. See if I can make it this time. Okay, that is looking good. And I remembered the most important step, which made it a lot easier for me. And this is these four you need to put in all on one side. This is the first main goal, to put these four pieces all on one side. And once you got this, the rest is actually coming by, uh, by itself. But this is the solution. And now I should be able to take this out. Yes. And it gives me a hint, I guess, saying BDA. One thing that's not too good, I think, is that you can just reset this. You need to make all the moves in reverse to reset it. However, let's let's continue. Um, BDA. So here's a C. BDA on here. There's a star over there. This combination block over here. C B. D A B Ah okay so B D A B A D oh, Come on this must be right Don't do this to me like this again B D it's kind of difficult to see A B D A Here we go B D A sort outside of the box Oh and 
is already the solution? No. I think there's another thing over here locked. Okay, so this was not the hidden compartment, I guess. But why do they, those things come out of the puzzle? You can find anything else. Here is something in addition. Oh, oh, a tool. A tool, let's see. So another puzzle that comes into is a single part. So this is a key and this key for sure goes in here. And I cannot solve it. So, but here is like a hint. Find these numbers. Can I do anything like here? Oh yes, I can shift it. I hope I will not break it. Oh, some hidden sliders. Ah, okay, okay. With these, I can execute this over here. Okay, that's good to know. Find these numbers. So these are, those are numbers, no letters, but numbers. Do I see any numbers here on the puzzle? This is also locked. Okay, and this is locked here, okay. The last compartment is locked by this combination lock. This combination lock is locked by this thing here. And to get the right code, I probably need to understand what is this. Like so, but I can't look at it. Maybe like so. Oh, oh, I think I found it. <laughs> you see this? This says number one, this says number two. So if I cover it. Number three, number four, number five. But I think this is like, it's not meant to be like this, but I can also do it with my finger. Number four, number five, <laughs> six, seven, eight. So it's number seven and eight. Where can I set numbers on here? Here, number seven and number eight. No, sorry, number six. Number six and number eight. Let's see if this works out. Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> okay, oh, that was a good one. Okay, so this was locked with this key. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is, okay, okay. Number one, two, three, four. I'm pretty sure this has something to do here with those numbers, with those letters. Hmm. And one, two, three, four means probably like the combination over here. One, two, three, four. But what side do I need to use it? How does this make sense? Okay, there's a star here. Maybe the star is like a reference point here. So when I when I put this like so on the star. Hmm. <laughs> tricky. Definitely a tricky one. Let's call this side number one, side number two. So we got for the number two. If I put it on the star, yeah, by the way. Okay. On the number two. I cannot even put it there. Maybe like so. It doesn't really fit over here. But here it does. Put this back in because there are two more letters on, on here. H and R. So, and if I put it on the star, like so, then I got uh, here the R, right? C I R A O N C H. L O G R. Okay, so we got here like. T A Y E L O G R. And how could this help me now? Let me let me check. I'm pretty sure it should give us these combination for this. So what do we got here? We got a we got some I don't know some guy 
<laughs> Guy is probably not the right one. <laughs> we got a horse. Okay, so this one, I don't know. We got a horse. R for a... I don't know the English word. Let me just check it. A loot. A loot. And we got a... a I don't know. An arch. Okay. So let's see. The coin. The coin. Coin. Here is a coin, so we got like coin here. Arch, arch. So we got a coin and we got an arch. Wow, this turns out to be right, I think. <laughs> I can't believe it. So we got coin out, arch out. Oh, there must be more. Did I skip one? Ah, oh, this, this. So it's going helmet, helm, helmet, helmet. No. Horse. No. So none of these words. So for the first ones I did it right. For the second ones, obviously not. E I U. Oh, it's an E. No, it's an F. F I U. F I U. I found a mistake. Um, this is not called. Uh, Harp or lute. This is called in English lyri. Lyri or lyri. I'm not sure. I only know the German word and I translated it wrong. So this is the correct one. Lyri. 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 I'm not sure. Okay. But it is this and then remains T A O. G. T -A -O -G. Let's set the ones I, I have. Maybe I can just guess the last one. Okay. Um, so number one, the first letter from the upper right is a T. Number two, L. L for Lure. Lure. So let's set, set here on the number two, the instrument. Number three was the C. And the C is a coin. Number four is a, a arch. Oh yes, this fits so well. This can be can be correct actually. Arch. But the number one I have no idea, to be honest. T ta -ok. Ta -ok. Let's try it one by one. I think there can be not there are no duplicates, so let's try it with the oh, this moved. Oh, yes. Woo. Wow. Oh, this was a hard one. This was a hard one. And now, let me see. Oh, I'm done. I, no. Okay. Congratulations, you made it to the inside of the mysterious artifact. But the story has only just begun. Scan the QR code and on the back to uncover the mystery. Also discover clues that may point to a next adventure. Okay, so if you check this barcode, you get to a page with a small story and then you can enter your time. And I think my time was around 75 minutes, which is quite fast if you consider what was written on the box. However, I, I need to get the thing back together again. I mean, look, <laughs> look at this. It's messy on my, on my desk. So conclusion, conclusion. I would rate this puzzle with a level four out of a maximum of five because each of the puzzles were quite tricky. This one I knew before, therefore it was not that tricky, but the rest of the puzzles, it was um, quite challenging to come up with the solution. If you agree or if you do not agree, let me know in the comments what you think about this puzzle. Let me know what you think about this review. That's it for today and until next time, keep on puzzling!